take you to eat some food with us. So come with us. Let's go. So we're gonna check out this place up here. It's called Seaside Market. It's pretty cool. It's just like a market in the ballpark. The things they have are awesome. Um, I don't think I've seen anything like this in any other stadium we've been to. Um, so it's nice fresh foods. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's check out the food at Seaside Market. So part of Seaside Market is like a hot station where you can get like tri-tip sandwiches and nachos and all kinds of goodies. Well, they have all these goodies here. Look at these cakes. They got little tiny cakes here. We've had the brownies and they're delicious. They're so good and that one brownie will feed like a family of four. They have salads here. Look at fruit salads. Let's go down this way. Look at these sandwiches they make. And you can buy this whole sandwich here. Look at that. Oh. More salads, but those sandwiches are amazing. Look at they got hot dogs here. Look at the bacon wrapped dog. Oh, I didn't even know they did hot dogs in here. That one looks good. Look at the bacon wrapped dog. I know. Oh my God. And then they got pizzas. The pizzas look really thin, but I don't mind a thin pizza. Wraps. Look at that. Is that ch spicy chicken? It's some kind of chicken. Oh, and then they got fish and chips here. Look at pasta, Casey. Mac and cheese. Oh, look at all that. And then you come down and they got hot foods here. Looks like uh, poppers over there. They got the fries or mojo potatoes, chicken tenders. There's the mac and cheese. Look at the hot wings. Oh, everything looks so good. It looks so yummy. So there's the pricing for the sandwiches. Teriyaki chicken rice bowl, the hot dog, the bacon wrapped hot dog. You're okay. It's good. You're good. <laughs> good. Oh, they do. They do beyond beyond burger meats. Yeah. Beyond meat burgers. Look at that. So one of these is a beyond meat burger. And then the salads are 13 and then the handcrafted sandwiches are 15.50. So we've talked to you guys about the cookies at Angel Stadium, the bucket of cookies. They have cookies here. Um, you can buy them on the field area, like at a booth, or you can buy them here. These cookies are really good. Not as good as Angel Stadium's. However, they have like different flavors. They're monster cookie. It's like a blue cookie with a bunch of different crap in it. It's delicious. And they'll give you ice cream with them here too. Oh, yummy. You can get fruit here if you're healthy. They have Melissa's here. I know if you've been to Angel Stadium, Melissa's is there too. Um, so they do have Melissa's types food here. It's just like a store. You can get waters, you can get sodas, you can get juices, chips, peanuts. Over here, like, like if you're at the market and you want those dried fruits and stuff, here's licorice and pretzels and cherry slices and almonds. And of course, San Diego Padre gummies. And then over here, if you want to just grab a cold beer in a can, they got all kinds of beer here. You want some tiki rum punch? I don't know about the rum punch, but I, I might get one. Any of that. I might get one. Uh. Yeah. So that's the Seaside Marketplace. It's pretty cool. Like Casey said, I've never seen anything like that at a ballpark. No. Um, we've been to like like three or four ballparks, mm -hmm. um, West Coast ballparks, and um, and that includes uh, the Diamondbacks Stadium. I don't even know what they call it anymore, Chase Field or something. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to go meet up with Eric and Chrissy, who are getting $5 beers because we're at the happy hour. Yep. Um, and then we're going to figure out what we're going to eat. Yep. All right. Eric and Chrissy are supposed to be over here. 
This is the Ballast Point Brewing Company um, area. You see in there they sell foods, but it's mainly alcohol. This is where you get the uh, $5 beers right now. So I think Eric and Chrissy already got a beer. We're going to walk over there and see what they got. And there they are. The theme park kids. Run park kids. So what did you get? I got a beer. The speedboat. It's a I don't know what kind of beer. Oh. A blonde ale. It's very like it has a nice little sweet flavor to it. It's really, really good. There's two blonde ales, the speedboat and another one. I've tried them both. I like this one more, so I got Captain Free Love. I got this one, it's better, they're both good, but I like this one more. Nice. So And what did you get? Um, well the hazy IPA that I normally get, called Haze in the Park, was out. And it was a tragedy. Thank you. Um, but I got an IPA. It's not very hoppy, so it's it's pretty mild. I'm not sure that anybody else here would like it, but it's called Sir Romeo. So and, and you double fisted that one as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna have uh, two now to start, and then go down and grab uh, Puestos. It's like a taco. Oh, Puesto. It's like a taco spot. Nice. Yeah. Is that like a popular place for San Diego? Uh, yeah, I think there's the spot that we first went to is over at Seaport Village, and it's the first time I ever had a cactus taco, or like ate cactus just in general, and it was grilled and it was exquisite. Is it real cactus? Yeah, real cactus, like the meat of the cactus. It was, it was super good. So, um, yeah, that was the first time I had Puestos and cactus tacos. I think there's another Puestos up in like... Bellaterra. Out at Bellaterra. Where is that? Huntington Beach? Something like that? Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, there's Puestos around Southern California thing, I think, but I don't know for sure. Yeah. Nice. So let's finish the beers and get some food. They're only five dollars, so how can you not get two? You know? <laughs> There's Puestos. We're gonna see what they have. It looks like burritos, short ribs. They don't have a lot. Yeah. Short ribs. So it looks like it's burritos and chips yeah, I don't see and any beer. Tacos. I don't see any tacos either. No. It must be the the shops outside of the ballpark. Yeah, probably the full restaurants. Yeah. So they might not get uh, anything here. We're, we're seeing the concentration on her face of if she wants anything. <laughs> she we got have, something. We have bamboozlers amongst us. No tacos. Uh, we did get a chicken al pastor burrito. Uh, it's got a lot of good things in it that I can take a picture of. So. All right. Where are all the tacos? <laughs> So they have Grand Ole Barbecue here. We've had this before. They are pretty good. They've got a French fry with pulled pork on it that Casey always gets. If I can show, the line is always horrible. Let me see if I can find somebody with them and I can show you. So that's what the barbecue looks like. That's the sandwich right there. And right there's the fries in the front. She just pushed the fries back. Full of pork on top. And what's the San Diego Padres without Tony Gwynn? So I really like the French fries with the pork from Grand Ole Barbecue. But last time I got them, they did me dirty. I think the cheese was not up to temperature. Um, so needless to say, I will not be getting those this time. <laughs> They're so good, huh? They smell so good yeah. here. But that does not sound like a fun time no, afterwards. It <laughs> up the escalator we go. I don't know if we're on the hunt for more foods or if we're gonna go to our seats right now, but we w I wanna check out food. Okay, and over there they have pizza, nachos, hot dogs, pretzels, it's pizza port, and that's what they're serving there. First thing I wanna say is, um, we expected tacos. They only had two burritos on the uh, menu. 
That was very it. Very disappointing, very disappointing. But the things that are in this burrito, which I already said I don't remember and did not take a picture of. Chicken. Some kind of sauce. Some kind of sauce. It sounds uh, really good. I heard something. Rice. Something habanero beans. I'm assuming. Oh, what's that? On the, oh, look at that. Is that grill? Cooked in that cheese. Cooked in that cheese. Oh wow. All right. It's some kind of cream sauce. Yeah, something. So you know. I'm calling spicy. Hibiscus something. All right, sauce. going into the bite. It's all there it is. The, the cross hibiscus. section. And it's purple. Is it like? Yeah. Poisonberry jam in it? I got rice. It's hibiscus. Oh. Oh, hibiscus. With chicken? Is that what we're saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't give you chicken. What do you think? What's your opinion? It tastes good. The best damn burrito you've ever eaten? Um, um, up there with the best that I've eaten at a ballpark, for sure. Just going in for two. I'm going to try it with the hot sauce. All right. And I want to know if the hot sauce is really hot because it looks like it is. That's really good. Ooh. A little bit of spice. Got some spice in it? Uh-huh. Some kind of lime cilantro rice, I think. What's that? Avocado. The cheese. Oh, he's, got, he's choking from the heat. No. 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 That's good. That's it? That's good. You gotta put the sauce All on. All right, it's tasty. All right. It was worth it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so Puetos is a hit. Puestos. Puetos. And here's the thing. The reason I'm so impressed with this is because I expected tacos that were gonna be elite. And I got an elite burrito, which is like, it just shows me they got, they have range. They only had two burritos on the menu and margaritas and stuff with like chips and guac. So, so, <laughs> it was, um, yeah, having a good burrito is like, all right, you can do stuff. It was a chicken at El Pastor, right? That's what it's called? Yeah. I think that's what the, tape, the name of it. Avocado, cilantro, lime, rice, hibiscus, something, sauce, something else. But maybe that's the chicken. Is that the chicken? That's purple? There's chicken in it. So we always come with our cup. We bought it at the beginning of the season. It's $10, but it's all you can drink and you get to bring it back. So every time we come, we bring our cup for our drink and they do refillable popcorn. Same thing. I think this was like $15. Yeah, go get, I think it was 10, yeah. 10 or 15, yeah. And then look, you can fill the drink yourself right here. And then you can go in there and get your popcorn. I don't think they do the popcorn here. You wanna go around and look? Oh yeah, regular uh, popcorn is $8. Bottomless is 10. There she is in a hunt for the perfect hot dog. Will she find it at Petco Park today? There's only one way to find out. All right, so this is the hot dog that, the, that Diane likes that they have here. The specific hot dog is the bacon wrapped hot dog is the one for her. They have weird hot dogs here with like, I don't want to say non-normal flavors, but like, don't put beans on a hot dog, guys. Oh, and something they have next door, which the drunk park gals would probably love, is frozen cocktails for $19.50, or you can get a double for $23.50. And I love those cups. Uh, Barrio dog. We got two kinds of dogs. We got a La Virgin, and we got the El Zolito. The El Zolito has everything and the kitchen sink on it. It's got so much. <laughs> this one is Eric and Chrissy's dog. Um, but you can see, Casey, you want to tell them what's on it? Um, there's cilantro, there's a salsa roja, there's a tomatillo sauce, it's a bacon wrapped hot dog, there's red onions, there's tomato, there's sriracha sauce, um, cheese, and crushed garlic. And it's on an all beef dog. This one, the La Virgin. 
all beef dog, bacon wrapped with ketchup, mustard, and mayo. Is that bacon wrapped? Yes. You can see it right there. That's it. That's all on it. You can't get onions on it. You can't get relish on it. That's how it is. I do think it's weird that none of the hot dogs are customizable. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Last time you just got that dog with mustard. with mustard and you went over there and got relish. Oh, oh. Go get me relish. She's going to get me relish as I tell you about the bun. The bun is super duper soft and it's toasted. It's not a thick, um, you know, like hard bun. It's really soft, as you can see here, and it's you can see the toasted in there. It's really nice. You like how I just told her, you're gonna go get my relish, and she just goes, go get my relish. No, it's not like that. <laughs> She's gonna delete this part. I'm gonna make her delete this part. That's not how it is. But it did look like that, didn't it? So I went to get relish. From the pump. And they don't have a container. And I didn't bring the hot dog. <laughs> so this is gonna be a mess. Hey! Put it down. All right, we'll just spread it with our finger like that. Um, use the, not so, the inside, just stay What's outside. those burgers that we had here before? Ho Dad. They have Ho Dad burgers. I don't know if you've had them before, but they're pretty good. Size They're burger. decent size burgers. Um, you can get burgers here that you can get burritos here. You can get those uh, fries with pork on it. You can get the pork sandwich here. You can get pizzas here. Try tip nachos. Try tip nachos. Impossible or Beyond Burgers they have at the market too. So much food. So, so many much options. food and so many options. And if we showed them all to you, we'd never sit and watch the game. We wouldn't. We've been going, going, going. I'm gonna take a bite. Told them about the bun and my demands for relish. taste that I like in a hot dog. It's an all beef Angus dog. I think it's good. I'm glad you I like it. I without the, the, the mayo. The ketchup and the mayo. Yeah. I want onions. You, they don't even have onions anywhere in here. Well, what doesn't make sense is there's onions on this. But they can't put onions on mine. It's you. It's a you thing. It's a me thing. It's a you thing. We're on the hunt for popcorn and something for Casey to eat. I'll find it. I just don't know what it is yet. So we just wanted to show you as we were walking by. This is on the like first level. This is the pizza place that you can get like the really big pizzas. They also do sandwiches. You can get like a meatball sandwich or a prosciutto sandwich. And then in the Mercado, there's the sign for the Mercado. They have sushi. You can get the sushi if you're craving that. That place next to the sushi, Din Tai Fung, they have bao buns there. Okay, bell buns. Um, but since we had beer, we were thinking good old ball, ballpark food. So uh, Casey realized we can order some just nachos, plain nachos, and pretzels at our seat, and so we're gonna go do that. But buy me some peanut M and M's and cracker jacks. I just wanted to. Say too that. early. Too early. I just wanted to say that. So we got some ballpark food. We. we Go ahead. No, no, you, you, go ahead. No, you tell. We didn't end up mobile ordering it because you can't get extra cheese and we need to make some kind of poor decision tonight. Yeah. So extra cheese was that decision. So we got nachos with lots of cheese, little jalapenos on the side, a couple of really big and huge pretzels. You talk about Disney's pretzels. Yeah. Um, and then we got a refillable. 
We got another refillable another drink. Another one. I really like this one. The military. It's pretty cool. Oh, and I'm going to spill it. And they have San Diego Padre gummies. She loves gummies. I love gummies. Yeah. So we got our snacks all good and ready. We're ready for the ball game. I've had fun. We always have fun. We've got our steps in. <laughs> so we sure Definitely. have. Beautiful downtown San Diego skyline. If you've never been to Petco Park and you love baseball, come on down. Come on down and check it out yourself. It's, it's a great ballpark. It is. A, it's a, I love this ballpark. It is beautiful. Um, I do have a question for you. Yes. Best hot dog now that you've had the bacon wrapped. Um, Angel Stadium still? Yeah, Angel Stadium. It's all right. And I, I, I'm pretty, I'm told they do hoffy dogs. So I guess I like a hoffy dog. I guess so. And I don't buy hoffy dogs. So we I don't. don't. We so. don't. So with all that fun and food and ballpark and baseball and, you know, it's summer. A movie quote from Major League, Lou Brown says, Forget about the curveball, Ricky. Give him the heater. Give him the heater and the nachos and the cracker jacks. Bye, everybody. Bye. You already know what's up. What's that? Another home run. Joe, you say dreams. Joe. Jeez. Joe. Jeez. Joe. Jeez. And don't forget the Z. And if you want to see the Padres hit a grand slam today, when I say slam B, you say A go. One, two, three. I'm from Slam B. Slam B. Slam B. Slam B. Hit a heart. Hit him with a strike. With the national anthem. To the bottom of the line. I'll play. Slam B. Slam B. Slam B. Slam B. That was so fun. Yeah, a little jazz-y rendition on the saxophone. Followed by that young gentleman. Such fun. So the gentleman that we saw rapping for our listening pleasure. His name is Joe Dreams. Don't forget the Z. Don't forget the Z. Go ahead and scan for the music video. This is what happens when she looks, she forgets the movie quote. So, the movie quote from Chicken Little. You didn't think we were going to have a Disney movie, did you? I didn't have a Disney movie. It's not from Chicken Little. It's from Major League. She told me Chicken Little. I did. I didn't find any that were like baseball related. Oh, there's a baseball related one.